back to my channel and welcome if you are new so today i'm showing you some storage ideas for your sponges for your ink blending tools if you don't have much space in your craft room so i'm taking these pocket um organizers these are actually for like cards and stuff um so you get nine pockets in total and they're basically like binder sort of thing um so i'm going to be taking my label maker and as you can see this is how i was originally storing them and they just start to get really grubby and stuff and yeah it just doesn't always look that appealing and you know i just wanted to organize these and i don't have a lot of space in my craft room but i do have a couple of hooks on the back of my storage carts and stuff i could hang them on so that's my idea so i'm just printing off all the distress oxide labels that i need um i don't have a lot of distress inks compared to like most crafters i am still building up my collection but again like i said because i don't have that much storage space it's hard to like when i do want to buy distress oxides it's finding places to organize them and keep them all together so at the moment they're above my head on a shelf um, but if i keep building up my my space and stuff it's obviously gonna be moved again so i just need to find a place to put them all um, so yeah, as you can see, once I've printed the label off, I'm just sticking them onto the pockets and then putting in the sponges. So most of the sponges that I had, I managed to remember which ones were which. Um, so I asked a couple of people on Facebook on an organizational group, you know, how do they organize their, their sponges? And a lot of people are like, oh, we put Velcro on the back of them and uh, adhere them to the back of the ink pads. That would work great, but with the storage shelf that I have for these, it would just keep catching and quite frankly, it just wouldn't work personally for me. So I just wanted to find another way of doing it. And like I said, like I, I have so much storage space on the back of my storage carts on the side of my shelving, you know, so it can be hung up out of the way sort of thing. I do have like two drawers, which I need to organize again, because obviously I've recently just moved everything. So I used to have a computer on my desk, um, it kind of stopped working for some reason and I was like, you know what, it takes up a lot of space and quite frankly all I use it for is editing videos and playing music, so don't really need it, I can do all that through my tablet and my phone so it's fine. So I took it out yesterday and <laughs> having that much of a gap like where I used to just, you know, not have any space at all, it's just amazing to me. Um, so yeah, but I will link the pockets down in my description for you guys. So the more you buy, the cheaper it costs. So I got 50 in total and I think it cost me eleven ninety nine. And yeah, like I said, they're supposed to be like Pokemon card storage sort of thing for collectors. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm going to be using. So I will also link down my label maker. I originally got the label maker from Aldi. It cost me £12. And the refills that I bought, I got off eBay a couple of weeks ago and they cost me £11 for 10 So, yeah. So I'm just going to insert some music, guys. If you have any questions that you'd like to ask, just comment down below or message me through my Instagram. That's probably your best bet. Um, I am also going to be doing some... Um, <laughs> I forget what they call it. Ink blending combinations of distress inks so ones that I personally like to go for and you know others that I have not used yet that way I have a, like a little lookbook to look back through when I need to get a color combination um so like right now on my mantelpiece I have a color combination for Halloween one for autumn and then I have one which is kind of in the middle of like spring and summer sort of so I do want to do a lookbook so when I go through it I don't have to do swatches all the time. I can just look through this and be like, oh, that's the colour that I need. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you like and subscribe. Follow me over on my social media. And I also have a couple of hops going on. So if you want to be a part of those, message me through my Instagram. The one that is upcoming is obviously the Christmas one, which is called Christmas Comes Early. And that is six different cards all to different themes posted on Instagram with a hashtag and so far I think I have like 12 people interested in joining so definitely come and join. There are people there that are very much beginners so you don't have to worry about like not being totally great at card making 
Like, personally, I don't really think I'm that great at card making. I look at it and I'm like, yeah, I could do totally much better with that. But I think it's just a learning curve. And it also just gets you motivated if you're in a bit of a rut without not knowing what to do. Um, so sometimes when I'm like that, just going through my lookbook on my phone with all the images of cards that I've seen and I want to recreate, I will recreate one of them and it just brings back the creative flow. So I do recommend trying that out. Um, so yeah, but I'm going to insert some music guys and I will talk to you guys in my next video. So stay safe and happy crafting. Bye guys.